Hello guys, welcome to part 9 of the 3ds Max Sci-Fi Vehicle. I'd like to thank Autodesk for sponsoring a series of videos to me produce more great content for you guys. So in this video guys, we're going to make even more changes. Now you guys may be wondering, you know, why are we making changes now? And the reason for that is because as you set up more and more things here, and as you just have more objects to play around with, you just, uh, your mind starts racing with ideas and you end up naturally remixing lots of things. So guys, you know, originally I wanted to have this kind of be a walker thing, but now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and have the, the legs be wheels and I want to repurpose this to be an arm. So if you're confused by that, well, let's see it in action. So I will go ahead and select this. I like to move it a little bit just to make sure there's nothing I forgot. I'm going to delete this one. All right, I'm going to exit isolation mode. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just use this as the legs and then this will become the arms. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and create the arm. I'm going to go ahead and just delete symmetry. All right, remember, we always have a backup right here. In fact, let's make a backup of this before things get too out of control. This way, guys, we have a nice kind of progression. So this is the, you know, the block out. And then, you know, this is the next phase. And then this is the third phase, and we're going to have the fourth phase right here. So we can kind of see how this thing evolves over time. All right, so for this right here, okay, I'm going to go ahead and activate local mode. I'm going to kind of rotate, press A for angle snap, rotate like that. All right, and so essentially what I need to do, you can see how it already pretty much looks like an arm right here. But what I want to do is get rid of the wheels, obviously, or quickly repurpose them to something else. So I will switch the material and I'm going to just, let's say, select this, control I, delete. And I'm just going to scale this. And I'm just going to very quickly, I can even press F3 to go into wireframe mode. I can very quickly just create some basic uh, claw pincers here. And just delete this. All right, so pretty much got this right here. I may want to remove a few extra vertices. All right, and I'm going to just quickly connect this to set up some good topology here and cut here like so. Press F3 again. And so as you can see, guys, I've got that. Now I'm just going to shell this. Let's go in the opposite direction, or we can just move that. All right. And maybe to spice things up, what I can do is have another symmetry, this time on the Z-axis, and just kind of have maybe like a double, a double finger setup, who knows? All right. So now what I'm going to do is simply Hold shift to instance this out. Let's create two instances. Let's select this and press Alt A and select that object. Make sure we're using the positions and the orientations and the scales as well. All right, and we can just quickly delete the wheel and we replace the wheel with that. So that's the nice thing about using pretty much taking this wheel like you saw me do and just kind of replace that with something else. It's using all the same, you know, Gizmos, uh, Transform, Rotation, and Scale. So all we need to do is just press Alt-A, and it's right there. Delete that. All right, guys, as you can see, this now looks more like a hand. I'm gonna do something, so I'm gonna go ahead and, let's see. Probably I'll delete that, probably I'll delete this, and maybe move this right here. Let me go ahead and link that. Maybe kind of have something more like this. But I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. So I will just go into by angle, select that, and detach as clone. Kind of move that down a little bit. Actually, I'll just select the border and I will just extrude that down and flip the faces and symmetry on that as well. Make that transparent. All right. And actually what I want to do is to create a little bit of room for this. So I will insert a loop, let's say right there. And I will, let's see, insert a loop there and just kind of delete that. 
and just kind of bridge that. So I bridge that and actually I'm going to delete this. I'm going to go into board level and Alt P to cap that. So you can see I'm, I'm creating a little bit of room for this as well. All right, as for this right here, I'm wondering if I want to do the same thing for that as well. You can see it's linked here, so I'm going to unlink that. All right, guys, so I've created this. Uh, I've converted the leg into an arm. And, you know, there may have to be further things we need to do to make it match up a little bit better. All right, we'll have this for now, and I'm going to just select all of this and symmetry. All right, guys, so now we have these nice little uh, mechanical arms. And you can see how using the scorpion as a reference image, you can see those scorpion's legs, they don't come out on the front. Like for example, if we see here, I've got the legs kind of in the front right here, but with the scorpion, it kind of starts off in the back, so. Maybe I want to make them larger. I'm not sure there's all kind, all kind of considerations. Now, maybe I want to make the rest of the design smaller. You know, what happens if I make all of this smaller and then I do that, you know, right here? So, okay, maybe this is a little bit better. I think we're going to have these nice beefy arms here. All right, so now what I'm going to do is experiment with moving this backwards and forwards, seeing which one I like more. Yeah, probably some some around here. All right, now let's go ahead and I'm going to use these as the legs. So let me just see if the, the, all that works. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just copy that. And so we're going to have this scale down. All right, let's have one in. So I'm just thinking what kind of rotation I want there to be here. So I'm gonna switch this back to world and I'm gonna just set the rotation to be, looks like we need negative 90. All right, we'll have, you know, one right here. And now I'm going to just control V to copy this. And now we'll select one of these and we'll rotate that and move that as well. All right, so now we gotta do a little bit of something, something here to make sure that it does not interfere with the arms. So I'm thinking, what if we just have like a three wheel design and we just shift A or a, Alt A on that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and Alt A, but I'm gonna turn off everything except for just the X position. So that, that way the wheels are still, and I'm gonna, I need to turn off scale as well. So this way the wheels are still in the same in terms of the Z axis, but it's just been centered right here. All right, guys, as you can see, we now have kind of a wheel there, but it's not interfering. Let's see if I do want it to be larger here or not. Hmm. Okay. And let me also symmetrify this as well. All right, guys, so now we have this uh, Try wheel scorpion, which I'm not sure if I'm happy with this. I may want to just set up uh, four wheels. All right, guys, I'm thinking the top here is also looking a little bit too basic. So I'm just thinking about what I can add here. Now, what if we just, what if we just experiment by adding maybe a sphere on there? We can turn on auto grid. I will change to a yellow material, Alt A, 
you know, what if we kind of have this? What if we scale it? You know, will that make it look better? Mm, not, not quite sure. We'll move that off to the side for now. Let me just do some things on here. I'm just doing some basic little detailing here. For example, I'm going to cut across here. So now what I would do is I'll hold down shift to select this. I'm going to bevel with a value of zero and I'm going to plane her on the Z axis. I'm going to hold control and convert to vertex, press S for snap. So I'm going to snap the vertex right here, which creates this nice cutaway effect. And I will then weld the vertices as well. All right, guys, as you can see, we've made some really nice changes. You can see the evolution of this model right here. In fact, let's have, let's have it go from left to right. So this will be number one, and then this will be number two, and this will be number three. And you can really see, guys, that once, once you put your initial objects there, the design will really just kind of spring out. So you can see how it went from this right here, more, I guess, more spider-like, more, more ant-like. And then I kind of just spent a lot of time on the legs here. You can see I pretty much concentrated. I pretty much ignored the rest of it, just spending more time on the legs right here. And as I got more design and detail on the legs, I was able to take what I've learned, what I've developed here, I essentially used these legs as a, as a design template, right? Worked out the things here. And then I think, okay, what if I actually have these be the claws? And then, you know, this right here will become the legs right here. So now we've got this uh, design right here. So next video guys, we're gonna go ahead and add lots of little details. Thank you for watching and take care.